Hello everyone, and today we're going to be doing an experiment called Beautiful Bernoulli. I'm Phil and I'm in my space and the good thing about everything that we do today is that you will hopefully have everything that you need to do this type of thing in your space at home or wherever. Today we're going to be talking, like I said, about Bernoulli and Bernoulli, Daniel Bernoulli came up with a, a principle talking about how air pushes and can move things and actually ultimately can help planes fly. Now, it's not just as simple as throwing air at something, like if you have a balloon and hair dryer, so if you do that, the balloon will just fly away and eventually land perfectly back exactly where you wanted it to land, which is totally what I planned. Uh, it's about how things are shaped, but also that push of air, but it has to do with balance. Um, and the shape is important. So planes' wings aren't just flat, they are shaped or curved. And it's to do with this Bernoulli, beautiful Bernoulli that I mentioned at the start. Bernoulli, Daniel Bernoulli, said that if air moves fast over a surface, the pressure drops. So if you have a curved surface and the air is moving fast on one side and you have a different shape on the bottom, that pressure difference helps planes fly. Now it is the push of air that also creates that lift. So if you use something that's shaped the right way and you have the right amount of push, you should be able to make things float. So because a ball, and a ball is what shape? A sphere, it's the same all the way around. So air is equal on all sides. And if you change that airflow, it'll still want to stay in the place where the least pressure is. So it's staying in the same place. Now, you can also try and add a second one in. And because the airflow is constant, but it's also that pressure pushing up and the pull of gravity coming down, that's the balance. So how would we get this to work for something like a balloon? Like it was too light earlier on, the shape seemed maybe kind of spherical, but if we add a coin inside the balloon and then add it into the flow, well, we get it to balance perfectly in front. And now if we add, oh, this is the dangerous bit now. You can try this at home yourself as well. Oh, dangerous. We've got two and maybe even, even, oh, I don't know, will we go for three? We'll go for three. We'll go for three, we'll go for three. <laughs> <laughs> no! <laughs> well, maybe this is something you can try at home. Send in your versions and see if you can get your own system of these flying. And the good thing about everything that we've done here today is it works on small ones, it works on big ones. So what I thought I might do is I get a bigger ping pong ball and I have a bigger hair dryer, which is a leaf blower. And I'm gonna see if I can get this to work. Like I said, try this at home yourselves and see if you can get it to work. But maybe wear ear protection when you do it. When you... I'm just a little bit shook. For those of you who want to watch us at any stage, or again and again, we'll be on the RTE player. And for even more activities, log on to rte.ie forward slash learn. It's all there. Go explore.